Okay, I'm putting you down. Oh. Woo, we made it. We made it across the street, guys. Let's go through here. Let's go through here. <laughs> All right, guys. That was crazy. That is a good way to start off the video. So we are here. Um, we're going to go on a food guide tour, guys. This is from a chef's tour. We're going to meet our guide. His name is Jahandra. So we're going to find him. He's going to take us for an amazing food tour, guys. So don't forget to stay tuned. This is going to be epic. <laughs> Alfonso, Alfonso Jr. Alfonso Jr. Alfonso Jr. How are you? Okay, guys, we are here with our guide. Your name is Jahandra. Gajendra. Gajendra. Yes. Sorry, I'm really bad at my pronunciation. No, that's fine. I can understand it's difficult to... Indian names are a little difficult longer. Yeah. So we can understand that. Well, we're so excited to go on this tour today. So what is Thank the you. plan? So the plan is that we're going to start this trip from this place, uh -huh. which will be around four hours. Depending on like it might be longer also. Okay. Because the old Delhi Chandni Chowk area we are going. Okay. There is so many food places we are going to cover different markets. Yeah. So it's a like a little crowded place. Yes. So might take a little bit longer time or the shorter depending on the crowd. Uh huh. So the starting point is this uh -huh. in front of the red fort yes. where we are meeting. And then I go take you to the whole journey of the old Delhi. Okay. Where we are going to explore. You can ask your any question about any food, any place. You are allowed to take pictures. Okay. And there is an unlimited food. Wow. There is no restriction for eating. Yes. So how much you want to eat, you can. <laughs> wow, and unlimited you are food. Most welcome on our tour, and we are very delighted to show you the old Delhi. Yes. Like uh, as a local. Wow. So feel like you are with a local friend in old Delhi yes. and exploring it. Wow. Cannot wait, a chef's tour, guys. Um, I'm gonna leave the link below. Let's get started on our tour. <laughs> the city was built by the Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan. Mm -hmm. The same person, the same king, the Mughal king, mm -hmm. who built the great Taj Mahal. Okay. He moved his capital from Agra to Delhi in 1639. Uh-huh. The construction was started with the Red Fort, which you can see on the our back side. That took nine years and eight months. Wow. After that, he started the city area for his people, which is called the Chandni Chowk. Wow. The okay. name of the street. Chandni Chowk. Yeah. Oh. That's Chandni Chowk. Ah, Chandni Chowk. This is a big market. Yeah. So it's in English, Hindi, Punjabi and the Urdu. Oh, okay. All four languages. So the old Delhi is called now, but originally it's known by the name of Shahjanabad. Do you know the meaning of that word Chandni? Uh, is it moon? Moonlight. Oh, I was good. <laughs> so Moonlight. <laughs> when this old Delhi was built and this street got the name Chandni Chowk, uh -huh. in the middle of the street you see this thin line. Yeah. It used to be a water canal. Oh. And the water used to come from the river on the which we had on the back side of the fort, the Yamuna. Uh -huh. And the water used to be flow into it. Oh. And the moonlight used to be reflected. So that's why it's got the name Chandni Chowk and the British era it translated and start calling Moonlight Square. Moonlight Square. But now still it's called Chandni Chowk. Chandni Chowk, okay. So the old Delhi, uh, the Chandni Chowk is a big wholesale market uh -huh. for all different kind of things. Okay. Which we are going to go through all those markets. Amazing. The beauty of these markets are specific dedicated markets. Yes. So like section wise. Yeah. So this section if you go on the back side, uh -huh. there is only electronics. Okay. So same like we have the section for bicycle, cameras, footwear, sunglasses, yes. the jewelries, bridal dresses, the spices, wedding card, paper, metal, for almost everything. Uh -huh. And each market, depending on the what kind of the market, minimum 500 shops and can go maximum 2,000, 3,000 shops in one single specific section. Oh, really? Yeah. That's a lot. So this section, electronic, start from here and it will be long area. Okay, okay. And on the back side, there is only electronic items. Yes. Oh, wow. These guys are making these uh, real flower garlands mm -hmm. for the offering in the temples. As you can see, there is a two temples. Mm -hmm. First is a Jain temple, which mm -hmm. was built in 1656 when the Old Delhi was built by the mm -hmm. Jain community. Okay. So the Jain community was invited by the Mughal king mm -hmm. 
and he allowed them to build the religious place, commercial sites, and those are uh, residential areas. So this temple was built on that time, but that time it was a like a small shrine. Oh, okay. The main building built after the independence. Okay. Second, this temple is a Hindu temple of uh, Gauri Shankar. Yeah. Gauri is the goddess Parvati, and the Shankar is the Lord Shiva. Okay. So he is the one of the principal god in the Hinduism. Yeah. So we have three principal god: Lord Brahma, Vishnu, and the Shiva. The Brahma is the creator of universe. Vishnu is the protector, and the Shiva is the destroyer. So this temple is a 800 year old temple. Wow. Not the whole building, but there is a phallic stone. Okay. Called uh, Shiva Lingam which is represent the Lord Shiva. Okay. So that Shiva Lingam is 800 year old, but the temple was built at the time in the Mughal army there was a uh, soldier uh -huh. called Appa Ganga the Rao. His name is also written on to that wall. Oh wow. On the right hand side. Yes. So that time it was a small shrine, but after the independence, start big, uh, becoming the bigger and bigger. Yes. So till now, it like reach on that height. Yes. So wow, lots of people come here going every day for the offering. So yes. in the uh, Hindu religion, Jain religion, Buddhist religion, Sikhism, when we go to the religious place, yeah. we go with the offering. Okay. Those can be some sweets or can be the flower. So okay. that's why there is uh, these shops wow. where they are making the garlands for offering and yes. also for the weddings. Beautiful. Weddings, festivals, decorations yes. for that purpose. Okay, beautiful. So they use mainly the marigold flower, yes. the orange red one, and then they use the other flowers with the rose and other things. Okay. India is the land of spices. So it's yes. very well known for the food. Yes. Because the spices make your food more delicious. It is so true. <laughs> that's why I'm so excited to be here. So that's we are going to have it and we are also going later into the spice market which is oh. Asia's biggest spice market. Yes. We are going around there and we are going to explore. Wow. So we are going to, we are going to our first food joint. Ooh, we're going to go to our first food joint. Alfonso's like McDonald's. <laughs> this is the only and the oldest McDonald's of Old Delhi. Wow. Where we are not going in. <laughs> Unfortunately. Yes. Sorry, Sorry Alfonso. No, yes. I'm, just, I'm just trying to, I'm just telling you. You just want to point it out casually. Uh, okay. yeah, but yeah, that's no interesting. Problem. That's the oldest, you said yeah, the oldest? In this area. In, in this, this area. area. Because that's the only one. Yes. The McDonald's oh, okay. in this area. There is like no pizza, no Burger King, nothing else. Yeah. Mostly the local food. <laughs> Alfonso pointed out right away. Okay, we're going to try our first food. I'm so excited. So we are close to our first food joint. Okay. What are we going to be trying? Uh, the old famous uh, shop for the jalebi. Oh, jalebi. Ja jalebi is jalebi. a sweet dish fried in the butter, fully uh -huh. dipped in the sugar and the honey paste. Uh -huh. So you can say a uh, sweet donut. A sweet donut. Alfonso, did you hear that? We're going to have a sweet donut. Over here, guys, we're hitting up our first joint. It is Jalebi. So this is the store, which is the started in 1884. Wow. Running by the sixth generation. Uh-huh. At the same place, they are making the Jalebis. Wow. And they're serving there. Very so nice. So this is the side where they make these Jalebis. Okay. So the guy is going to prepare that. Which is the making oil. Or, uh, no butter, the ghee. Oh, we're having it with ghee. Yeah, Can the clarified go? butter. Yeah. So the ghee they use it. Wow, I didn't that know that. That you can see the tin. Yeah. The tin is full of that. Okay, let's check so it ghee. out. I thought this was oil, guys, but it's actually ghee. It's ghee. Wow, ghee in America is extremely expensive. I don't know if you know that. It is like a, a little bottle like this is like twenty dollars US. It is. That's why I'm like, so oh, we don't get too much ghee. This is luxury for me. So this <laughs> is the pot where they are going to fry them. Uh huh. Then they have the another pot in which they have the sugar paste added with the honey. Oh. Which is going for the once they dipped in. Yeah. They leave for two to five minutes and after that it goes for the serving in the front. So wow. that is always like fresh. They always make in a small quantity. Yeah. So people can get fresh. Yeah. I like so that better. More delicious. I like that better. So, guys, they're making it fresh. That's why, you know, he's heating up the oil from scratch. Then he's going to put it into some sort of honey syrup, leave it for two minutes, and then guess who's going to try it? 
professional dessert taster. Yeah. This is like a sweet donut, Alfonso. I ate a donut. <laughs> okay, let's move you out of the way so you don't get hit. <laughs> so shortly they are going to make it. Yeah. The pot you see there. In the, the back. Big, yeah, in the back, the big pot. So you can video uh, oh. that he's going to put the paste into the fabric. So the paste is made out of the very fine wheat flour uh -huh. mixed with the water, marinated very well so there is no bubbles. Ooh. So Ooh. they put into the uh, fabric, Yeah. it's easier to squeeze. Oh that's so interesting. So he will take onto this side, tie it from the top uh -huh. and then start pressing from the uh, top and squeeze into that. So in the round shape like a normal. And he's just waiting for the oil to get more hot? Ghee. Oh, sorry, I keep saying oil. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. It looks kind of like oil. <laughs> it is. <laughs> You're the owner's son. <laughs> he's the owner or the... Because sometimes his, uh, his father is... Yeah. This business passed down. Yeah, that's amazing. Are you here every day? Almost. Now. Almost. <laughs> Wow, it looks amazing. I can't wait to try it. Yes. <laughs> so guys, they do allow some scooters through here, um, but after COVID, they used to have cars, but now they're just having like little tuk-tuks and rickshaws. So um, yeah, guys, this is so fun. I feel like we're like deep diving into Indian history right now. It is so cool. Ooh. Sugar and honey. Yeah. Mm, you can smell the ghee. It just smells like so savory. <laughs> that looks delicious, Alfonso. You get to have a nice jalebi for breakfast. <laughs> It's like a huge shovel to get out the jalebi. <laughs> that is insane, guys. This is the first food of the day. It looks amazing. And finally, we get to see like how it's cooked because I've seen this before, but not from scratch. 60 rupees, guys, for one jalebi. I feel like that's like... 50 cents. 100, 100 grams. Uh huh. Minimum 100 grams. Yeah. Ooh. Nice. Thank you. Look at that. That looks so pretty. Jalebi. Look at this. Jalebi. I don't want to drop it. Don't drop it. Just Ooh. careful with the sugar drops. Yeah. It can come on your clothes because it's oh. fully dipped in the sugar paste. Yeah. Like these little drops right there. Yeah. Alfonso, you want to try a bite or is it too hot right now? No, it's fine. It's good? I'll eat this. Okay, hold on. I'll give you. Here, turn around. My salt. You want to take the first bite? And you got to face that way. I'm going to cover my salt with my jacket. Okay, go. Watch the sugar drops. My turn. Mmm. It's good. Mmm. It's like a sweet donut. You can see it's dripping. Dripping with deliciousness. Okay, guys, that was so delicious. It tastes like ghee, sweetness, deliciousness. We are going to move on to our next street food dish, guys. This is so fun. And look, they're making some samosas. Oh, wow. If you want, which we are going to visit, to visit the Sikh temple, we need to take off the shoes okay. and the socks. Okay. And also, we need to cover the head. Okay. If you are carrying some uh, like tobaccos, cigarettes, or any chewing tobaccos, you need to leave at this place. Because that is not allowed to take inside the religious site. Okay. Okay. So we are going to this place where we take off our shoes. Okay. Wow, guys, let's go. So guys, we are entering the temple now and we're going to have to take off our shoes and cover our head. Okay, so we're tying uh, a scarf on top of our head. Junior, your turn. Everybody needs to cover their head. So I got this nice one here. There you go. What's happening? You gotta cover your head. Ow. You're good. 
some flowers and fabric and the people are sitting on left they are singing live that is the religious chanting of this religion, which you can see in the translations and that's the bed for the book so people like normally coming for the prayer they can come and can sit here how much time they want to spend or either just they come and do the prayer and go out So guys, they get uh, about 10,000, 15,000 people a day. This is all voluntary. Um, it doesn't matter what religion you are. You can eat as much as you want. And if you can't, and then you can donate cash. But if you don't have cash, you can volunteer to cut vegetables. So this is, this is beautiful. Looks like fresh cauliflower. So this temple is called Shish Ganj Gurdwara. The Gurdwara is a word which means the Guru and Dwara, oh. so the place of the teacher. Oh, okay. The Shishganj is the word because uh, this temple uh, dedicated to the ninth Guru of this religion, Guru Tegh Bahadur, who was beheaded oh. on this place on the order of the Mughal Emperor Aurangzeb oh, wow. in 1675. Wow. That's why this temple was built over here. Oh. So there is a many different temples they have in the different, different loca uh, locations dedicated to the different, different Gurus. But all the, these Gurdwaras, you will see that golden canopy. Yeah. Underneath that, they have that holy book where the people are going and the pray. Yeah. Wow. Wow. This is... Guys, we are entering into like a huge area of cooking. And again, this is all voluntary. Look how big this pot is. This is the pot you can see. Yeah. They have the curry, wow. the potatoes and the eggplant prepared yes. for the serving there. Wow. Then they have the lentils. The lentils. Dal. dal. There is also, you can see, they are boiling the dal. Wow. The wow. dal, they are boiling it. So they wow. use all the spices, yes. boiling the dal prepared. Yeah. Before COVID, it was manual. Uh -huh. In the COVID time period, they change into the automatic. Oh, okay. Because of the restriction, and it's become more helpful for them. Yeah. Here you can see the men and the women. Anyone can come and can make right. the, uh, the yeah. roti, wow. which is manually made over here. Then it goes for the baking there, onto the pan, wow. into that side. Yeah. That's amazing! So the breads which is made there come yeah. over here, the lady is putting onto the pan. Yeah. So slightly baked then come onto the more higher fire. Yeah. So it's like a fully puffed bread. Wow! She flips all up like so high. <laughs> and she gets it in the, in the basket. <laughs> So that is roti? Yes. Are some of these ladies here all day? Some of them are from the temple committee, yeah. some people, because they have to manage many things every day yes. for the meal. Yes. But many of them are volunteers too. Wow. Like the lady you see, she's putting the butter on the bread. Yeah. The ghee. Ghee. <laughs> Yep. Butter we use it because mostly people can understand. Many yeah. times people don't know what is the ghee. <laughs> yeah. So for I... them it's very hard to understand. Yeah. So the ghee is like clarified butter. Yeah. 
like we've been saying that uh, all of this is voluntary and if you don't have any cash to give you can volunteer your time and I want to try helping rolling one of the rotis here so I don't know if I should go over there or yeah, come there. okay let's go there <laughs> hello I'm gonna try to roll one <laughs> maybe should I take Ah, okay maybe I should wa I can watch you do it and then I'll try to do one too oh it needs more flour yeah oh I'm gonna do a few Oh, good! I did good! I did good! I'm gonna do another one. Oh, wow! I never thought I could be doing something like this, guys. This is so cool. I think I'm doing a great job because she put it on the plate. Big enough? <laughs> I'm gonna do five of them. Oh. <laughs> Oop. Oh my, this one didn't turn into a circle. <laughs> didn't work out that well. Okay, I'll try again. <laughs> my first two came out good. That was so cool, guys. We gave an offering. We made some roti. So this side. Oh. Is the serving section. Yes. Where they serve the meal. So person is taking the plate and the spoon from yes. that plate. Go and sit on the mats. Okay. There is people are walking with the basket and buckets, as you can see. Yeah. So they will serve you on your place. Like here, they have the pot with the bread. Okay. The rotis. Okay. So there is no restriction for eating. Uh huh. Just only thing is that. How much you want to eat, take that. Don't waste the food. Uh -huh. This is like whole area when the... Because this is the time when the lunch is starting. So people started coming. Yeah. So in some time, this whole area get full with the people. Yeah. And the, as our, this meal is pure vegetarian. Okay. They have the roti, they have the rice, mixed vegetable, lentils, sometimes pickles. If there is a special day, they prepare some sweet also like rice pudding. Okay. Bread is the roti is the main thing to eat with the curries and the lentils. Yeah. Sometimes there is not enough people to make it. For that they have the machine. Oh, okay. That machine is make around 2000 chapatis in one hour. Wow. So you don't, like there is nothing. Here is the machine. Just only one corner you need to put the dough. Uh-huh. The other side the baked bread will come. Uh-huh. So like dough is here, they prepared with that machine. Oh, okay. Right now it's not working because they have the enough breads. Yeah. You put the dough here, you press the start button mm -hmm. and there is, you can see the fine blade, this. Yeah. And there is a dough. Wow. So it's cutting in the perfect, cut in the perfect roll. Yeah. Then there is a pressure, which press the bread. Yeah. And when it's come on the chain, it's in a perfect round circle. Uh-huh. After that, there is a fire below these. So yeah. it's connected with the gas line. Okay. So when it wow. goes through this, there is a three uh, layer. Like here. You can see three layer of yeah. chain, which is come down. Uh -huh. At the end, that's come there. Mm -hmm. So the one guy, when it's working, the one guy is sitting here. Okay. With a small bucket. Yeah. And then he start putting into the big pot. Oh, so wow. once they have the enough bread, they stop the machine. Yeah. When again they realize there is a bread is not enough and it's going to empty the pots, yeah. they again start making it. Okay. So they can feed all the people at every time. Okay. So like these are all are the wheat flour bags. So wheat flour is two kind of. One is the very fine wheat flour. Yeah. One is the normal wheat flour. Yeah. So this is the use it. It's a normal wheat flour. Yeah. Not very fine one. Because you see the difference between the naan and the roti. Yeah. It's made out of the same wheat flour. Right. But the naan is made up of the very fine wheat flour. Yeah. So that is more white. Yeah, right. When you see the uh, br naan, yeah. naan is more white. Yeah, I do. Yeah. But the roti is more brownish. Oh, okay. 
So that is the difference between the atta and the very fine all purpose flour. Okay. Okay guys, what a beautiful tour we are on, on a chef's tour. Guys, this is just the beginning though. We are gonna do a part two, possibly a part three because there is so much information on this tour, guys. So don't forget to like this video, subscribe because the next video, we're gonna keep going diving into Old Delhi food tour. And on that note, just keep on dancing. Keep on dancing.